Hey, what's up, guys? It is Steve's Mac Fix, and today what we're going to be learning is learning how to relocate your iTunes library on your external hard drive. Now, why would you do that? That's the question we always ask, right? Well, the reason why you want to do that is let's say, for example, you start off your iTunes library, it's small, the next thing you know, you're downloading more music, you're downloading more apps, you're downloading more movies, and guess what? You run out of space on your Mac. Sounds familiar? Absolutely. Now, some people, what they do on this situation, if that happens, they actually upgrade their internal hard drive, which is great. All you got to do is just clone your hard drive, and I have a tutorial on that. Go ahead and check that out. And there you go. You got more space for your iTunes stuff, right? Problem is, um, not everyone can do that. So, for example, on this, I want to use an external hard drive to have my iTunes library on. Instead, I'm going to relocate my iTunes library and run it off the external drive. Now, this is a great way to do it, free up space on your Mac. The bad part is, each time you run iTunes, your external hard drive has to be plugged in. Not that bad, though. All right, so let's just start it off and show you how to do this. It's fairly simple. Make sure you, make sure you follow along closely. Some tutorials on, on YouTube are completely wrong. They come, if you look at some of, the, some of the tutorials' comments, they've lost everything. So I want to show you how I do it. It's a simple and easy way. It is the correct way. All right, so let's get started. All right, in this tutorial, I'm actually using a Western Digital Passport. Um, it is 120 gigabytes. I'm going to plug this in, um, and you're going to do that first. So at that point, it's going to show up on your desktop. Um, also, too, on this tutorial, I will be using iTunes 9, which is the current version when I'm recording this video. Okay, iTunes 8 is pretty much the same thing, though. Okay, so here it is. It is on my desktop. I'm going to show you what's in it. Absolutely nothing other than the backup of my YouTube tutorials. All right. Now I'm going to go and close out of there. First off, what you want to do is just go ahead and launch iTunes. We're going to go way up to the top over here. We're going to go to iTunes. You're going to go next to Preferences, and then after that, on the top, you're going to go where it says Advanced. Go ahead and click on that. At that point, we want to keep in mind where is our iTunes library. Mine is uh, Users, Steve, Music, iTunes. This is the folder we want. Okay. Now, also to keep in mind, make sure you have these two options checked off. Keep iTunes Media Folder organized and copy files to iTunes Media Folder when adding to the library. So that way, each time you do um, add some new music, it will go to your external drive rather than to your internal drive okay all right so go ahead and click OK all right now we have that in mind let's go ahead and exit out of iTunes completely I'm gonna right click here I'm gonna press quit now what we have to do is remember where we had our iTunes documents we're gonna go to finder now I'm gonna go to music well Steve music then iTunes I'm going to take this folder here, the iTunes, that has all this content here, and drag it over to my external hard drive. That simple. Drag it over there. And in this case, it's not too much. It is only 3.61 gigabytes. It's two minutes. Shouldn't be take too long at all. Now at this point, though, you guys might want to think about, hey, okay, you know what, before I even copy this folder over, because some of you guys have huge, huge libraries, in order to shorten time, um, it's time to clean up your, your iTunes library. Go ahead, get rid of some of those old MP3s. Go ahead, get rid of some of those podcasts. You're not going to listen to them again. And the movies, uh, it's up to you if you want to keep them. But you know what? Get, some, get rid of some of those movies that you know you're not going to watch again. And that way, it makes the entire copying process a lot, shoulder, uh, a lot shorter. Okay. Now, keep in mind, too, um, there are two essential parts to this entire thing. First, we got to copy the iTunes folder, right? And then from there, we're going to relocate. Uh, we're going to locate the library document, and that way, when iTunes opens up, it will locate where exactly all your library content is, all your documents, whatever you have that works with iTunes. Okay? We have about a less than a, a minute remaining, and so that was pretty fairly quick. I do want to make sure make sure you follow this tutorial very closely too. Um, 
you could eventually lose everything but uh, and I'll just show you some ways to check make sure you got everything running correctly okay before you delete content all right so we have five seconds left it should be finishing up right now and we're good to go now again here we are in my external hard drive let's click on that and then now we're gonna double check it on my iTunes and I have all every, everything here I'm gonna exit out of this folder now what you want to do is this go ahead I want you to hold the option button which is two keys to the left of your spacebar on your Mac it says alt option hold that down right now and then go ahead and start up iTunes what this does it actually makes you choose a specific iTunes library okay now what you're gonna do is go ahead choose the library and at that point we're gonna direct the the library where it is so we're gonna go to the, the uh, external hard drive we're gonna go to iTunes and we're gonna locate the iTunes library at that point after you selected it go ahead and select choose and at that point now you have all your stuff you have your music which I don't have too much here you will even have your applications which I have a lot of okay now um, you want to double check everything go ahead now go to iTunes up here go to preferences and you'll notice that if you go to advanced up here it has changed your iTunes media folder location and everything from now on will be saved into here it'll be your volumes Steve's uh, Western Digital Passport iTunes and iTunes media perfect you want to make sure that's located in the correct external drive and also to those two are checked off again now after that you could actually go ahead and delete your files make sure you checked everything's there first Just don't delete it okay so I will show you that I am going to delete my media on my internal hard drive I'm gonna to go to finder I'm gonna to go to Steve I'm gonna to go to music next I'm gonna to go to iTunes I'm gonna right click on it and move to the trash I have absolutely nothing there I'm gonna empty out my trash and guess what it is gone but iTunes is still working because everything is on the external hard drive now the question is what happens if you run iTunes and your external hard drive isn't plugged in don't worry no problem at all you're not gonna ruin anything you just gotta be careful alright so let me eject out this external drive I'm gonna run iTunes now so here's my my hard drive it says the folder containing iTunes library cannot be found okay press OK and then we go ahead and quit at that point Go and plug it in. Wait for it to show up on your desktop. There it is there. Then I'm going to launch iTunes and guess what? Everything's there. All my apps and my music and everything. All right. This is how you relocate your iTunes library onto an external hard drive. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please drop them below. Hopefully someone can help you out or maybe I can. Other than that, I'll see you on the next video. Please rate, subscribe. I'll see you next time and I'll see you on Twitter. That's these MacVix. Take care you guys. Bye-bye.